Hello everyone, this is Eileen with your pick a card messages from the universe. What does the universe want you to know now? What messages are you supposed to be hearing for maybe whatever your current circumstances are in your life? Some of you might have things floating around in your mind that you want some clarity on. You might have a specific question or just your being your inner being needs some clarity, some insights. And so first of all, this is stack one here. This is stack two and we have stack three. So see which stack of cards that you seem to resonate with, which stack is drawing you in more. Usually your eyes will be drawn to one stack or another. And so just relax your mind and um, just be very open and receptive and decide which stack you feel you're resonating with the most. Okay, so we will start with stack one here. For those of you who chose stack one, move these up a little bit. Okay, and what we have with stack one, we have from the uh, fairy tarot cards, we have the dreamer, embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. This is equal to the uh, the Fool card in the Tarot deck. Another card we have from the uh, Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue. Also, this one, yeah, these are um, Doreen Virtue cards here. Make time. This says tranquility. Make time to relax. Be still and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much needed self-care. And then the last card we have, which is from the uh, one of the angels decks from Doreen Virtue, Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. This is a really good message here because some of you might have money concerns on your mind or you might, I'm getting from this dreamer card here because I'm, I'm tuning in on a psychic level also. I'm getting with this dreamer card that some of you might be on the way to start a new job around this time and some of you might actually be moving somewhere and then starting a new job after you get relocated and um, so I'm getting a lot of nice new beginning in energy here with this card. Um, I feel like for somebody, maybe this is one person I'm tuning in for, or for a few people, you feel almost like you had to leave some situation. Maybe it wasn't bad, but you just felt like it was time to go. And so you're moving on. And it's good, though. This dreamer card is uh, very optimistic. It's showing that, uh, you know, if you have faith in yourself and in your path in life, that you're going to land on your feet, that you have good opportunities. The feeling I'm getting is that you have all the inner resources that you need to succeed and to have a happy life also. I'm even feeling a new relationship for someone with this card, tell the truth. And this card here, the tranquility, take time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much-needed self-care. This is so true for many of us, probably all of us. In the world we live in, we have to work hard and be busy all the time because besides your work responsibilities, most people have a lot of family and personal responsibilities. And so it's good to stop and take care of yourself and be nice to yourself and have a little, uh, give yourself some small luxuries here and there. You know, rest, relax, give yourself time just to, to heal also for those of you who are just having really stressful, busy lives right now. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of people may have felt overwhelmed even with their schedules and you need, maybe some people are even taking a little vacation time right now, which is great. And then the last card we have is the angel Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. 
So again, I'm even feeling for those of you that I was kind of tuning in for that may have left a job and you're on to something new, even though you may not even have another job right now. Maybe you're moving or something to go find uh, work that uh, Serena is saying you'll have everything you need. You're going to have the abundance. You're going to have, you will receive the money that you need. I mean, this is a wonderful message here. So um, I just feel like whoever, whatever um, is on your mind, whether you've been worrying about money or contemplating, maybe it's kind of been under your skin. Maybe you haven't been consciously worrying, but you've been wondering and something's been under your skin about your um, job stability, your income, your finances. This is a good message here just to relax, take a little vacation time, give you take care of yourself, relax. And uh, while you're going for your dreams and your goals and have faith because you have the abundance coming to you that you deserve. Okay, now the next stack is stack number two. So those of you who chose stack number two, the first card we have is King of Spring. Innovative, inspiring, wise, theatrical. A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed right now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. Now, this is really nice. A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. This I'm getting a really strong, good, good feelings about this card here. And then this one, now this is from the uh, fairy deck. This one is uh, uh, from the Mermaids and Dolphins deck. Helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think whom that might be and initiate contact. Look, this one said an unexpected supporter of your cause. And this one is saying someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact. So I feel like for some of you, maybe just one person or a few or several, that you're, I'm feeling you're already employed and doing something and um, you're going to get some additional help in your work, in your career, or maybe even on a personal level. But it's from people, it almost feels like it's from people you're acquainted with or that you know already, either on the job or maybe that you know from some other networking or friends, relatives, something like that, helping you to put things together. But I'm feeling some of you already have some solid business going on. Some of you might be um, self-employed and already have a good solid plan underway or others of you work for a company and um, it feels like you're in a strong position but you've got additional an additional push to help propel you forward and then the last card we have is Isaiah angel Isaiah it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. So this is a real good card that as some of you are going through different changes in your life, whether it's business or personal relationships, that the angels are watching over you. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas. So, and this even ties in with um, someone wanting to help you, helpful person, um, I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. So all together, what I'm getting here is that some of you, even in your personal lives with relationship matters and your family matters, that you're in a fairly strong position and you're moving forward. Some of you might even be moving and buying a new home or relocating to another place. But I'm getting strong uh, finances for a number of you, business, your work, your job, that you're in a, you've gotten yourself over time in a strong position. In a, or if you're not there right now, this message is saying that you will be. Have faith, keep working and focusing on what you want. 
because you're supposed to be in a strong position financially in your life and your relationships. That's what I'm getting. Even just feeling that stability, even in your home. Maybe some of you are purchasing a home or just moving right now to a new location. But I'm getting a real sense of security here. So if you're not feeling that way now, these cards are saying this is where you're supposed to be. So you need to start feeling that way. Always use the laws of attraction to benefit you for your own success and your own uh, betterment in your lives. And the last deck we have here, this is the um, for group number three, stack number three. Okay, the first card we have from the um, Fairy Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue, 10 of Autumn. Take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones, making wise investments or planning for retirement, honoring family traditions. This is a good the feeling I'm getting from these. Now, the next one we have, this is from the Mermaids and Dolphins. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. This is great advice. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. And then let's see what the last one is. This is, again, from the angel cards. Um, angel Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. This is what I'm talking about for everyone with the law of attraction. Visualize your success. Have intention. Make it your intention to be prosperous, successful, to be happy in your relationships and uh family and your living arrangements just focus on it and believe in it and make it your intention to have your life the way you want it to be this is a great message so francesca what do you desire right now visualize it and it will come about negativity will block your progress because i'm feeling when i'm tuning in on a psychic level with this combination of cards especially these first two is someone feeling insecure about their circumstances right now. I feel like it could have to do with their finances. It could have to do with uh, your personal life or maybe a combination of your personal life and your finances. I'm getting insecurity from someone or maybe a few people that you're not real confident and um, uh, having the money you need, making the money you need, having a, um, a good life, even in your relationship. So, um, and this card here, Francesca saying to visualize what you want and it will come about and negativity will block your progress. This is a, this makes sense going with these cards that I was getting insecurities, even though that's not the meaning of them. I was getting that energy from these two cards for people, some people or a few people, or maybe just one or two people who see this video and choose three, um, that, don't let worries and fear occupy your mind because then you, you block your good. So what you need to do is visualize where you want to be. Visualize your success, your happiness, and eliminating clutter. This really helps. This is my big project for the year is to organize and eliminate the clutter so you can feel more um, relaxed and at peace and not feel overwhelmed by your surroundings also. And the Ten of Autumn, this is a good card about financial security. It's just saying it takes steps to ensure the financial security of your children, loved ones, make wise investments, honoring family traditions. But this is about having security. But again, for some reason, from these two cards, I was getting feelings of insecurity from somebody or some people. Uh, and I was tuning in on a psychic level. But it's not necessary, and the angel Francesca even tells you why. You, you don't want to, negativity will block your progress. There's nothing to be insecure or fearful about, whether it's in your finances, your personal life. You just have faith and focus your attention on how you want your life to be, to get where you want to go, because you have good things waiting for you. Okay. 
So that's it uh, for your messages from the universe for right now. And um, I'll be doing some more a little later also on other topics. Okay, well, thank you for watching my video. And uh, be sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And I thank those who have subscribed already. Thank you for your subscriptions. And I'm in the midst also of uh, posting the June videos for the signs of the Zodiac also. I'm still working on those. And I expect to do some more uh, pick a cards on different topics along the way also coming up. And uh, okay, great. Well, if uh, anyone would leave your want to leave a comment, I welcome your comments. And um, if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Okay, great. Thank you for watching my video. Have a wonderful day. And this video is timeless also. So if there's some circumstances in the future going on and you want to come back and choose a stack, then you can do that because you might be drawn to a different stack, especially at a later time after you've already kind of forgotten what was in these three stacks. <laughs> so, okay, and have a good day.